Whoa! You see this? I'm seeing myself in 3D VR 180. And this is my eye. I'm live streaming directly into my head, my, my VR headset. This is so meta. Today, we are going to review another new 3D VR 1AD camera featuring super high 8K resolution, 10 bit color in HDR10, in VR headset real time live preview, and SRT protocol no latency VR live streaming. This is Techie 3D VR 180. Featuring two 1 inch Sony CMOS sensor, this camera also has internal stitching. The lens is so tiny, you don't even see it in the final image. And it is designed for vloggers and solo content creators. The color LED screen is in the front, not the back. And it is fully compatible with Pico AK VR 180 livestream without a computer or a streaming server. It even features an HDMI 4K stitch output for multi-camera switching. And we will also discuss the new consumer VR warranty camera from Canon in this video. I hope you are as excited as me. Let's deep dive and learn everything about this new 3D VR warranty cameras. Crazy. Like, this is so meta. Oh my god, oh my god, I see Kimchi. Oh wow, oh wow. Hey, what's up everybody? It's your boy Hugh here. Not like other brands. Techie 3D VR 180 camera is already publicly available. There is no Kickstarter. The price, though, hmm, 4,225 US dollars. Wow, it is expensive. Why is it so expensive? Let's take a look at the specs together. It features two one-inch stack CMOS image sensor from Sony. It can do 8K at 30 frames per second in camera live streaming and support two 8K feed for two broadcasting platforms simultaneously. So you can stream to Pico and MetaQuest at the same time, which will double your VR 180 streaming revenue. This is huge, but more on that later. It supports the Zoom A3 VR or any other USB-C 4 channel Amazonic mic and has two Great 48 kilohertz 16 bit internal mic with a fanless design. So it will capture great light audio for the moment notice without looking for a laugh or a professional microphone. Kimchi is the real star. Real star. Real star. Hold up, Mike, this. So his TV doesn't show. Kimchi is the real star. Kimchi is the real star. Real star, real star. Kimchi real star. Kimchi is the real star. Real star, real star. And it also support professional USB-C mixer or audio interface like the latest Rode Caster Duo or the Rode Caster Pro 2 to use preamp and XLR microphones for VR warranty broadcasting. No VR camera really cares about live audio solution until now. It has built-in 512 gigabyte UFC storage and external TF card support. AK VR takes lots of fast and expensive storage. Great to know it includes a half terabyte in camera storage without extra spending. It is the lightest VR 1D camera beside EVO. It weighs 750 grand. It is not as small as EVO though, and it is not splash proof, waterproof, or dust proof. So don't go diving with the camera. Look at the physical design of the camera. It is very slick. Compared to Kelf or Canon, it really tried to stay out of the traditional camera look and go into more a content creator cool look. It featured a 1.5 inch display in the front instead of the back, making it super easy for solo creators. It is really what I believe the first VR 180 vlog camera. Everything can be controlled via the iOS or Android mobile app, so it is easy for streamer to remote control the camera. The key feature is 8K 30 frames per second VR 180 live stream. It is the first VR 180 camera that can go live without a PC computer. 
All other VR warranty live stream cameras require a powerful PC with at least RTX 3080 as a stitch box. An RTX 3080 or 4080 PC costs more than 4,000 US dollars. So yes, the cost adds up really fast if you want to go live in true AK VR. Nani? Hugh, what are you watching there in VR? So the camera might seem to cost a lot, but if you consider all it can do, it's really not. Techie told me there is an internal AI powered stitch software running inside the camera to make sure the 3D ERP stitch is best in the industry. This is also a big deal. So far, even Canon EOS VR utility cannot achieve perfect 3D in some scenario. I will need to use Mystical VR to recalibrate the vertical disparity manually. After watching the in-camera auto stage footage from this camera in my MetaQuest Pro VR has it right there, I have to say, the AI still needs some work. The stereo is a bit too much for close-up objects. I still think my manual stitch is better, but it is a huge step forward if you have the possibility, even the possibility, to fire the 3D fixer. I am pretty expensive to fix your 3D problem, but please call me if you need a 3D fixer. I will have another dedicated tutorial on the AK VR one the live stream on the Pico platform outside of US, as right now it is not supported within US. Techy support two very important things for high bandwidth, low latency VR live stream. It support SRT protocol with H.265 and 5G CPE for outdoor wireless live stream. YouTube or Meta does not support SRT, and AT&T, Verizon, or T-Mobile does not support 5G CPE. So, what is the benefit of SRT? Well, latency. SRT in the pipeline reduce stream latency to less than a one second delay. So you as a content creator can have a close to real time communication with your viewers. Mission critical business like medical can have real time feedback and sport broadcaster can have real time updates. All these are big deals in live stream. Pico does support SRT stream, and it is a matter of time US has a reliable 5G coverage to do stable wireless upstream. So, are you waiting for the trend to come, or are you investing in the upcoming 5G innovation? That's totally up to you. Anyhow, I will keep you informed so you don't fall behind, at least in the area of XR Live. Another key feature of the Techie 3 d VR 180 camera the feature you might overlook is it can do HDR10. Well, it might not be a big deal for YouTube or the current headset distribution, but the upcoming Apple Vision Pro support HDR. We don't know if it is HDR Plus or Dolby Vision, but we can safely assume it will at least support open format HDR10, which means your VR one the video color will look more vivid inside Apple Vision Pro. You will see it here as this video is mastered in Rack 709 for YouTube distribution, but good to know Techie is forward thinking in the color department. Another huge feature for professional is the light preview for client, onset or remote VR production. Techie capture two stream on recording. As you can see here, you get a 2K proxy and 8K 10-bit file in each capture. Using the PC software, you can set up an RTSB stream. It will continuously stream out what the camera see in AK to any source that is listening, including your VR headset. So when your VR headset is connected to the same local network wirelessly, it can view camera feed just like what you see here. It solves a huge problem in VR 1D production. For the first time, the director and the client can see 180 3D live and keep live directing and feedbacks. I have been on so many VR film set and I can tell you this is huge. Or you can do that Ryan Chapman style, I survived 50 hours in third person via video, but this time live streaming it in AK VR 180.
just give you a viral video concept. Don't sleep on it. And if Ryan is watching this video, please reach out. I will make it happen for you. Okay, now you have a better understanding of why this camera is so expensive. Let's talk about image quality. We will compare all the available VR warranty camera currently in the market to see which has the best image quality. Watching it on my MetaQuest Pro, the image quality is good. No missing top and bottom light calf, and not even the left and right lens are in frame like Canon or Evo. There is absolutely no post production needed to see VR. You can do camera to headset no problem. It can also do 8K through the VR 1D time lap out of the box, which is an add on bonus for time lap photographers. Here from left to right, we have Install to see Evo, Kelf, Techie 3D VR 180, and the Canon EOS R5C with the dual fisheye lens. Let's freeze frame. We have Kitty here standing about like 2 meters away from all the cameras. Not only the frame of Techie is larger, almost the same size as Canon, it also looks really clean. Let's zoom in 300% and isolate the frame. Install to see Evo looks really fuzzy and overly compressed. It's just a very bad looking image. The other three all hold up pretty good. Again, Techie look really smooth. Well, actually too smooth and kinda look unnatural. It's like there is a beautified filter on Kitty's to get rid of all her imperfection. All her freckles are gone. In Canon, you can clearly see freckle on her face her forehead, and her nose. You can see those freckles too, more clearly, in Kelf. Also, Kitty's eye bag and her wrinkles. Yes, those are not pleasing to look at, but in my opinion, it's not the camera's job to decide what is good and what is bad in an image. i rather the camera capture everything in full detail and let me design in post. I'm curious to know what you think. Comment below. Now, let's look at the left side of the lens, where kimchi is. Zoom in on kimchi. What a cute boy! Nope. So, in the dark area of the frame, Canon is pretty noisy. Canon RAW requires DaVinci Resolve denoising, and you probably know that already if you are following my Resource VR warranty tutorials right here. Evo is basically unusable in low light. Kelf and Teki both do pretty well. Teki definitely have the cleanest image of all because the sensor size. So if you hate noise and you do not want to do post production, then Teki is a pretty good option for you, especially if you are doing VR one day live stream in dark concert. Compared to Canon and Kelf, the Teki image looks a little bit stretched on the side, which make Kimchi look feather. Another problem is chromatic aberration. Look at Kimchi's tail, there is a purple and blue edges on his tail. The issues get even worse in a high contrast area, like the tree line right here. On the right, we have a focus chart. Let's zoom in. Techy captured the most amount of details and it is the sharpest of all, and that is the benefit of a larger sensor. The biggest benefit of large sensor is distant detail. Zoom in to the window outside of my backyard, you clearly see the clarity of Techie is the best. No argue about that. It also has good color rendering and vivid image even in so far away thanks to the 10-bit color depth. I don't want to give you the illusion that two 1-inch sensors are better than the Canon full frame sensor with 12 stop of dynamic range. It is not. Canon, we have to remember, shot at RAW with no in-camera sharpening and C-Log3 cinema gaming profile. Even though we did the rec light conversion, the image still looked pretty flat. When we add post sharpening and color grading in DaVinci Resolve, we can bring back all these details. But just by the fact that Techy match up with the expensive Canon R5C without any stitching and post production, it is still pretty impressive. We did not include FM Dream into the mix, which is a 2 APS-C sensor VR 1D camera. But hopefully, I will get my hand on one of them to review for you very soon. And there is one more camera you need to pay attention to. It is from Canon. It debuted in Japan this month under their V-Series. 
a consumer-focused camera line. It's a lot like in Star 360 EVO. It's allowed you to capture both 360 video and VR 180 videos. We have no spec, no sample, and no price yet, but I am pretty confident to guess this camera will be well under 1,000 US dollar, probably with one inch sensor as well, because their PowerShoot V series only use one inch sensor. Beside Canon, MSG Sphere, the big dome in Vegas, and its production house in Burbank, California, just released their own camera system called Big Sky. It features a single 360 megapixel 3 inch by 3 inch HDR image sensor, which is capable of capturing 18K by 18K square format paired with their crazy big fish eye lens, as you see right here from the image. You can capture 16K immersive video for the world largest LD wall, the MSG Sphere in Las Vegas. YouTube is going to throw a concert this year with this tech. If we can get two of them together, then we can really have the world largest stereo VR 180 image. Hmm, would that be nice? So yes, pretty exciting time to be an immersive content creator. With all this news, plus the release of Apple Vision Pro, what do you think? Comment below and let's make some guesses together to see where the industry is heading. As always, it's nice to hang out with you all and I feel like I know you. Or maybe I'm just delusional. <laughs> well, Kimchi say hi! If you are new here, please subscribe to us, hit the notification bell, and buy me some high quality dog food because he spent all his money on camera. If you missed my review on Kelf and other new VR 180 camera, check it out right here. If you want to see Kimchi and my original VR 180 production, check out this playlist right here. Maybe you can find some inspiration to spice up your next VR video. And I will see you in next video, in VR live stream, or in the metaverse.